Jeff Rowe from Two Hacks Garage, back on the 311 cubic inch small block Chevy Ripper that's going to go in jumping jack flash. Last few videos, we've made a lot of headway. As you can see, the rotating assembly is completely done. We got that ISKI cam stabbed in. We got that Mylodon oiling system all taken care of. And in this video, what we're going to do is we're going to show you how to install a, a harmonic balancer. Um, it's a crucial step to one of these engines, and there is actually a right way to do it. So with that, guys, let me show you what parts we're working with. All right. Well, here's what we're working with. It's a dampener from Summit. It is SFI approved. Um, it's a pretty heavy duty unit, not too shabby at all. That's that right there. Um, it is, like I said, pretty heavy duty. The specs on it are exactly what I need for what kind of racing I'm going to be doing. It does have provisions for pulleys and all that. Uh, of course, I'm going to be running an ARP harmonic balancer bolt. Uh, it's already pre-lubed up. I put on there with the ARP fastener lubrication. And we're going to be using a harmonic balancer installer and puller tool. Instructions are pretty straightforward. I'll walk you through this and show you how to do that. All right, guys, this is actually a pretty simple tool to use. Um, we're going off the installer part of the direction. So you actually have your puller shaft here. And mind you, you need to find the right adapter, which is included in this kit that's going to fit your crankshaft hub. So basically what you're going to do is, if you look at the diagram, all set up. This has got a pilot bearing or a bearing in it. And if you look here, it's flanged. So what that's going to do is that's going to go in there so you're able to rotate it. And once you get it seated onto your crankshaft on the keyway, that gets put on there and you start threading it and you start tightening on and slowly pushing it on. We're gonna go ahead and demonstrate that here in a second. Um, but it, it is kind of important to make sure that these threads do not get cross-threaded at all and take your time. There's different methods to do this. Um, you can actually heat these up in an oven to expand it and get it on there easy. However, I'm using, uh, an installer tool that's going to make it much easier. Just follow the directions, take your time, and you should be good. All right, so first things first, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this thing started on, on there. And it's pretty simple um, to do. Really, it's got to, like I said, you just want to take your time. Um, it, it's important that this is free of debris. You want to check your keyway, make sure there's no burrs. I always check the threads and make sure everything's fine with them. So basically what you're going to do is you're going to get things lined up. Your, your crankshaft, see how easy that's threading on there now? You want to make sure on your balancer that the keyway does match up just like that. So I got it started. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run this in. You want to get as much thread on this as you can. It's a little bit safer that way. You don't want to break anything off. That would be very bad. So I'm going to run that in. I'm going to back this off. Okay. Seated right there. So now what I'm going to do is hand tighten this down, make sure things are going straight. Okay, so I'm in the keyway, got that set up, so I'm going to go and get a couple wrenches. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this wrench here, now that I know I got it started, hold it in place, and I'm just going to press this thing on. It's pretty simple, you just want to take your time and just keep going until she's fully seated. And it'll go back. What I'm going to do is put on time lapse because this is going to take a little bit and get it on there. All right, so once you get it fully seated down in there, this is the point where you're going to remove the tool and you're going to install your harmonic balancer bolt.
want to make sure you put some uh, ARP thread lubricant on there. I know in some cases they do call for actually uh, putting Loctite on it. Um, however, I am using ARP thread lubricant instead. This thing's going to get torqued down quite a bit. So I'm going to go ahead, do is get that all in place, get it torqued down, and I'll see you in a few. Well, there we have it. Not too bad of a job to do. Like I said, you just want to take your time. Um, one thing I did there at the end of this, I put this at top dead center and this is an adjusting timing tab by Moroso. So what I did was I got it lined up, got it directly to top dead center. And if you see there, I put it right at zero degrees. So there we have it. Not too shabby. Um, just got to take your time guys. And it's not too bad really. Right tools matter. If you're wondering how I keep this thing from moving, um, if you look, I've got that keyway and that that big flange part in the crankshaft i have a tool that i made that i put in between there and it holds everything in place it keeps this engine from turning over because it does require a little bit of force but yeah there you have it guys harmonic balancer is installed